Hi y'all, Terhi here again. Again with June Hip Kids, and I promise this will be the last video with June Hip Kids. Even though I have made like six layouts with the kids because they are so beautiful, but I didn't record it all. So this is the last video with them, but you can see of course much more in my Instagram account and my blog and everywhere. But I thought to record this because the card file I'm using is so beautiful and this is really simple layout to do even though it looks like there's lots of going on. Uh, first of all I again use some Pink Fresh Studio papers from the main kit and I cut out this peacock uh, card file which is designed by Bates Taylor Evans who was HipKit Club guest designer from for June and I really like this card file she made for us so I I really wanted to use it. It's not like my usual style but it's gorgeous and I couldn't be <laughs> like not to use it because it's so beautiful. So I used one of the really light yellow papers. There was like this uh, lemon pattern on top of the paper and I thought it would be gorgeous because I don't want it to be too bright and too big element for the page. I just want it to be like highlighting the lovely photograph of my daughter. So what I'm going to do is that of course I'm going to adhere the cut file to the paper, but I'm going to decorate it with these bright flowers from Pretty Little Studio. This was in um, if I remember right, this was in Project Life Kit from June, but I'm not going to say it was because I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm doing a couple of really small and delicate layers behind the photograph. I don't want to make too much too much um, mess for this page because um, I really like the photograph, <laughs> so I want to I really want to highlight it. So. I'm going to just add a couple of these flower uh, die cuts here and there and a couple of paper layers and that's it. So I'm going to cut um, the papers that I might use. Uh, I, I'm choosing all the Pink Fresh Studio ones because they are really light colors. There's, there's, no, there's nothing bright with these papers and I think it's cool. There was one of these uh, papers with these lovely flags in the other side. Lots of different words and phrases and stuff. So I thought it would be fun. I'm also going to use probably like a couple of these Pink Fresh Studio ephemeras. Not everything and not much, but some. This big uh, lemon slice will be good and that's it. I used 3D foam to adhere to peacock and then I'm going to add some thread to make a little more softness to the page and then just adding the paper cluster partly on top of the peacock but I don't want to um, cover it completely and I, will, I want the head to be visible because it looks like the lovely little peacock has her crown on top of her head and I want that to be visible. And now I'm going to add these lovely blooms, flowers. They're actually quite adorable. I didn't know that Pretty Little Studio is making these beautiful things, but this is what I love about Kid Clubs, because you always get something new that you didn't spy from anywhere else. And now I'm like super big fan of Pretty Little Studio. So I'm using lots of 3D foams and clues to adhere these flowers here. And I was thinking that maybe I'm just adding the flowers really close to the photograph and only there. But now that I'm doing it, I actually think that it would be fun to fill uh, peacock, peacock feathers with different flowers and a bit color of here and there. Uh, just to kind of highlight the peacock that much that it's visible because now it's so light. 
So I'm going to add a couple of flowers here and there, not much, but some. And I also want to have a little bit more texture for the page, and that's why I'm using both these uh, cardstock stickers and the puffy stickers from Pinkfair Studio. I'm going to choose this lovely butterfly, which I adore, of course, and the beautiful word as a title. And I chose this blue one, of course, beautiful matches to the page, but also because the blue goes so well with the colors I'm choosing. And there's a couple of uh, blue flowers from the pretty little studio flowers that I chose to use. So I'm adding these here and there. It looks like the peacock has some kind of skirt or dress. <laughs> But anyway, that might be just my imagination and I just like it. I took also a couple of the flowers from the Pink Fresh Studio Ephemera pack to fill enough of these um, flowers to the dress of the peacock. Now I'm thinking every time that it's a dress even though it isn't. I'm adding a couple of drops of green mist here and there because there's lots of green in the photograph and I'm also choosing to use blue it goes well with the colors and I really want to have some just some contrast for the page that there's not uh, that it would wouldn't be only really light colors that there has to be something darker of course for the contrast but also because the photograph is is much darker and the papers and the embellishments I used. So here you can see the cardstock arrows I also used. But anyway, as you can see it was super quick and easy to do, but it's quite beautiful, I think. The layout, yeah, but especially the peacock. So thank you Paige for giving us the lovely cut file and thank you for watching and we will see you again soon. Bye!